Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us at the beginning of a, a new term, a new academic year, and under the most extraordinary of circumstances. So we really do appreciate you taking the time to join us. Um, you'll be used to hearing Andrew Hammond's voice at this time, uh, but this morning he's in the hot seat and I'm going to be asking the questions. I'm Phil Birchnall. I'm Senior Director of Immersive Content here at Discovery Education. Um, if you... If you want to find out more about the Pathway Programme, pre please do uh, visit this link about the NAHT uh, Discovery Education Pathway Programme. That's discoveryeducation.co.uk forward slash pathway, where you can find out lots more about the programme and you can even pre-order. And if you'd like to join the discussion, that would be fantastic. Uh, you can ask questions during this webinar. Uh, please do make sure that when you ask a question, you ask it of the whole uh, panel rather than just uh, the panelists, that, that everyone in the group can see the questions. And if you're on social media, please do join in as well. And you can use hashtag the whole teacher on whichever social media platform you're on. So I'm going to be joined by Andrew Hammond. Uh, Andrew is, uh, was a teacher, senior leader, head teacher for 21 years. Uh, he's the author of over 40 books, including five novels in there as well. And he is series editor and lead author of the NEHT Pathway, uh, NEHT Discovery Education Pathway Programme. And he is here with me. <laughs> That's a good introduction. That was a good introduction, I thought. Yeah, you, you nearly got there. I nearly got there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm normally behind the scenes. You are. These things, yeah, so, it's so, very, yeah. very different to actually have you on camera as well, isn't it? So, well, it's, it, it's, it's good to, to have it's you here in front here. of me. It's good, good, good to, to see you here. And I remember uh, just, over a, just over a year ago, yeah. uh, we both joined Discovery Education, we just had, a few days in, actually. Just and joined, we, yeah. we decided we should meet. And we met in a pub in Hammersmith. Yeah. And you'd had this idea, and I think it was something that had been burning for quite some time. Yeah. About this program that you yeah. wanted to to get yeah, off I the ground. So I what 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 was the genesis? Well, that? I think it was just going to a number of CPD courses and things over the years, as we all have. People on this call, we've all been to CPD mm. courses. And some of them are very good. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. A number of them aren't, and they're eminently forgettable and rather bland sort of affairs. You know where you know. Coronation chicken and you know same yeah, pattern on the yeah, carpet, you know, yeah, you know the sort of thing. I do, and um, and it's really about your professional currency and your professional capital and what you know and what you don't know, and based on the assumption that you're not doing it correctly at the moment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I used to come away from those days and think, well, well, he knows it and I don't, and the people on my table seem to be a little bit more switched on than I was, and um, but not all of them were like that, but yeah. obviously some of them were. And it's, it, it strikes me as odd that there is, there is, there is so much CPD, a, a great deal of, it, of which is free to access. Yeah. Um, in fact, I actually did a bit of research for this. You know, oh, I, I, like, I like my research. <laughs> You've got some stats. I've got some stats here, which I, I'd quite yeah. like to share with you, if I may. Okay. So uh, about two million days were lost um, in the time that this was recorded a couple of years ago. Um, uh, not this piece was recorded, but this particular document I'm quoting from was written that two million days were lost through absence. Wow. Teacher absence. Wow. Um, and 883 million pounds were spent on teacher cover. And 236 million pounds in the year that was recorded a couple of years ago um, was spent on annual CPD budget across all the schools. So where am I going with this? Well, in other words, would more CPD of the, of the kind I've just described help? I'm not sure that it does no. with those figures. I mean, if you look at the amount of days that are lost through teacher absence, through uh, sickness and, and mental health uh, and stress and so forth, and other, and obviously to go away on a CPD course as well. Mm. And if you add all of that up, that's an enormous expense, not just not enormous cost, not just to the, to the, to the funds, but also to the, to the children's own education. Unit. Yeah. So I'd kind of put all these things together and looked at the, uh, the amount of uh, uh, teachers also who, of course, are leaving, mm. which we know about. Mm. Um, in a recent study, actually, in November uh, 2019, it was found that um, in 2013, those graduate teachers who entered mm -hmm. the profession, five years later, in 2018, only 67% of them remained. So a third, 67.7%, so 33 and a third, had, uh, had left, had left the profession altogether within the first five years. And I looked into this more deeply, and people on this call will know this, I'm sure, that, um, so a third of teachers would see it as no more than a five-year career. And 15% of them leave within the first year. 
and 20% leave within the first 15%, two years. 15% Yeah, 15, one time, right, yeah. Okay. 15 percent of teachers in this current report that I was reading have left within the first year. And that's sad. Yeah. And that's sad for them, actually, as well as for the students. Mm. And I've experienced this. Yeah, you've spoken to me many times about uh, you know teachers that have come and had that conversation with yeah, you in in, in, the, in the office. Yeah, I have, and there was always one that I'm. I always remember most vividly in my most recent headship, which was just over a year ago. That's all. Mm. Um, was where a, a lady who um, she she was a you know brilliant teacher. I mean, a proper gifted teacher. Yes. Mm. Only two years into the well, a year into post really and she said to me at um, half term in the summer I'm leaving you and I was I was sort of very curious as to know why because I was most surprised and she said well look it's uh, I, I don't see my friend so much now you know <laughs> suffer with headaches and so forth uh, it isn't what I thought and she then described the attritional sort of aspect that it was having on her yeah. on her health on her you know and no amount of CPD courses would have necessarily, I could have said, well, look, do you want to go on a CPD? Can I, can I yeah. develop, develop you yeah. professionally? That wasn't the thing. I think the thing for me was the lack of personal development. Yes. It isn't just professional development. It's personal development. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's personal development because over a, sometimes quite a short period of time, a lot of teachers, and I, I, indeed, I think this teacher I'm referring to, lost or lose something which is so dear and so important in this job, which is your sense of empowerment. Yes. That you've got it. Do you know what I mean? That you can do it. Yeah. And just like a golfer has his swing deconstructed every, every time we <laughs> go for a lesson, the, the overwhelm of accountability that surrounds us, mm. the, the success criteria that one is given as a teacher mm. against which you're measured and against which your students are measured, you know, their attainment progress scores and so forth, sometimes um sometimes drives you out and you you refer to you don't refer to it as cpd you always refer to cp i've always called it cpe yeah continuous professional empowerment because yeah. if it doesn't empower you yeah what's the point why are you doing it do you know yeah. what i mean it, it, I, I was at a talk at bet yes this year yes. Do you remember those days wow yeah i wonder if that's it doesn't feel like again. this year does it <laughs> no it doesn't no but it was this year and i heard somebody talk about uh, um cpd and was talking about um professional currency Okay. And professional yes. capital. Yes. Yep. And how we need to assign mm -hmm. pedagogical coaches to teachers. Oh, okay. And that if we did that, I think we would probably see uh, better retention and recruitment and so forth. I don't agree with that, no. with the greatest respect, although I'm sure it's important. Again, we're talking about, or, uh, although this person wasn't saying this explicitly, but I inferred from what this person said that yet again, the teachers aren't doing it well enough. There's yeah. a deficit in their I was say, always knowledge. Always implies a deficit. Always yes. implies a yeah. deficit in yeah. their knowledge, yeah. and that if you fix that and develop their professional currency and all these phrases that sound really fashionable, don't they? Yeah, they do. That you'll you'll somehow support them and enable them to stay and flourish. Yeah. But we, to use a phrase that you use all the time, we're not just knowledge delivery systems. No. No. You can't just top up our knowledge. No and enable us to deliver it more efficiently and effectively and accurately. That's not to say that's not important. It's no, really important. But yeah. you're talking about a whole other yeah, I'm angle. I'm talking about here. whole other angle, aren't you? And yes. here, yes. isn't it? You know what I mean? And, yeah. and when I go on a CBD course, I don't just want to be spoken at, yeah. and I certainly don't want to be spoken at from the shoulders up <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> no. Does that make sense? It makes great sense. But in the, in the maybe it's a Western thing, we are obsessed with rationalizing. Mm -hmm rationality we're obsessed with reason yeah and if you're feeling if you're not feeling it you know and we, we've talked on our podcast mm -hmm. we, several times about how sometimes you have days where you're just not feeling it yeah frankly you feel like welling up actually but yeah. as a teacher you yeah. can't no, you, can. you know you're going to keep you have to pop into the sky maintain cover. the performance yeah and the delivery and sometimes that's not because of a lack of professional development there's something else yes. eating away at you and um and so yeah so I, it's a long answer no, no, it's, I've tried it, it, to... it requires a long answer in a way, doesn't it? I mean, because yeah. this, this is a big issue. It's and a really I big guess issue. That there are no easy, simple answers. It's a so. really big issue. 2017 was a tipping point where more teachers left the profession than entered it. Wow. I'm now, sorry. I'm not a mathematician, but anybody <laughs> yeah. can see that. Exactly. Yeah. Anybody can see. And that's despite, you know, £236 million pounds being spent on CPD. Yeah. So uh, I don't wish to start off with a gloom and doom, and I just have. And... God knows we've got enough of that at the moment. Well, yeah, but, but I mean, that, that, there's a, it's a compelling case. Without adding more doom and gloom, those yeah. stats 
represent a, a world that is now gone, changed, Can you imagine and, the steps? and everything. So fascinating. So those see, statistics were yeah, before yeah, that was before the current time, the, the current pandemic. So gosh. Okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, some, something to watch out for, and hopefully Pathways got a part to play in that as well in fighting that. And really hope so. I I, I, I think it. Yeah, and I think I there's think a so. there's a real call to action also, not least because as everybody on this call will know, know very well, that um, the new changes to the Ofsted framework, to the inspection yes. framework, are such that it is now obligatory, quite yeah. rightly, I'm, I don't think anybody would disagree with this. Indeed, I think many of us have been calling for this for some time, where school leaders and teachers need to report meaningfully about their children's attitudes and behaviours, and their, per their personal development, and their yeah. growth, and their cultural capital, and these yeah. sort of wonderful, immeasurable things. Yes. Wonderful. Brilliant. At last, <laughs> we value it, as we teachers always have. And you have to comment on that meaningfully. Can you teach those things? That's a whole new discussion. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, but you can model them. Yeah, you can. But you can only model them if you yourself have a positive disposition, <laughs> have a positive mindset, a feeling well, frankly. Yes. A feeling good about teaching. And you're modeling it. You're walking the, walking the walk, aren't you? You know. And I think those statistics that I began with suggest otherwise, suggest mm -hmm. that a significant number of teachers don't. Yeah. And yet, what a cruel twist that at the time when we're seeing the worst attrition mm -hmm. and a very significant number of leaders uh, expressing that they're feeling stressed, 84% in a recent study uh, of school leaders saying that they're feeling stressed. And this was, this was pre-lockdown. Yeah. And a third of educational professionals have experienced a mental health issue in the last 12 months mm -hmm. pre-lockdown. Mm -hmm. Against that sort of backdrop, something needs to be done differently. And it's no good continually saying, well, we need to develop you professionally. We need to recognize that you're a human and on yeah. the receiving end of a CPD is, is, a, is a is person. A human being. <laughs> Interesting to me as well, when, again, when I first met you, I think you'd already started this process. You took this straight to the NEHT. I did, yeah. yeah. yeah I did. Why, why the NEHT? I did, I did. Well, I was an NHT member as a, as a school yeah, leader. of course. Yeah. And they're a must-have. Yeah, they are the bat I'm not trying phone. to carry you, you always describe I'm them not as like the them. bat phone. They are the bat but phone. But they are the bat <laughs> phone, aren't they? And yeah. when the bat signal goes up in yeah. Gotham... And we know they're more than that, but we, 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 we really know they're more the bat than that. <laughs> we know that they're more than the insurance policy when, yeah. you're, when, you're, when you're in trouble at work, yeah. frankly, and you need a rep there. Yeah. And we've all sat in on those sort of meetings. Yeah. And, and that's a really important function that they play and they serve into the... Nine, ten thousand people, I think, I can't remember, but the significant number of members um, who require those, those sort of services every year. Well, it's 40 odd thousand members in total, but yes. there's a very significant proportion who need that kind of counsel. Yeah. It's a very important, but that's not, that's not all that they do. But nevertheless, a union, uh, your union membership is, is a must have, and it's a very important part of, of, of being a teacher, and it's a very important part of your service and support. So I thought I, I'm going to speak to them to find out what their purpose is. What what do they do? What 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 are they for? That sounds like a cynical question. <laughs> I'm going to get into all sorts of trouble. Yeah, yeah. 125 years they've been in existence. Yeah. Well, so so what drives them? What? And they, and I asked them that. I said, Are you an insurance policy for when it when it really goes? And the answer was, Well, first of all, we are there to help our members and support our members when they're in difficult times. No question about that. But more than that, much more broadly than that, and more proactively than that, we are here to maintain, or to create and maintain the conditions in which our members can flourish at work. Yeah. Well, I thought that's lovely. Yeah. And I thought this is a significant part of that. So I said, well, look, how about if we look at, can I talk to you about the stone in my shoe and what we could do about that together? And well, they couldn't have been more welcoming. Mm. They got it. Yeah. Because they'd already been thinking about this. Yes. I think they called it something different, but they'd already been thinking about this. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. God, yeah, of course. Yeah. About how to support your members, not just from the neck up, yeah. but here and here. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, because that's how we function at work, isn't it? You know? Yeah. And so it, it, was, um, it was a lovely conversation, and it led to many more conversations with, um, with many colleagues there, including some terrific conversations with Paul as well. Yes. Paul Wyman, who couldn't have been more supportive of yeah, because he understands the absolutely. human yeah, elements yeah. in yeah, this, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, I'm delighted that we've been working together. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's been a very productive partnership. Yeah, uh, incredible. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we, we have a similar sort of we, I mean, Discovery, not just me, it's not, yeah, about, yeah. It's not yeah. about me, but Discovery Education and, and the NHT have uh, have good values yeah. and um, and a similar sort of vision. For this Absolutely time. agreed. And then, of course, the, the, the next steps, I guess, were to, to structure this and to yeah. create your empowerment. Yeah. And to do that, you went out and found what you describe as the League of Extraordinary Teachers. The League of Extraordinary Teachers. And yeah. So what, what, what did you do? Just flip open your contacts <laughs> book and just... You know, um, I flipped open my little who's desk who book. Who's and, uh, and, uh, and education and edu Twitter and... Not at all. No, no. <laughs> I'd love to say, I'd love to take credit for all of these great brains. I'd love to say, well, they're all my mates. <laughs> no, not at all. No, I just listened. I listened and read and researched and listened to people too. People that you've recommended, people that NAHT recommended, people that colleagues have recommended, yeah. and people that I know yeah. and love and trust. Yeah. Really important. And um, and we've assembled this, we've assembled, I mean, it's not, I don't I'm not a football manager, you know me, but we, we've worked <laughs> with the most amazing uh, people who are experts in their field, continuing to practice, many of them. Well, they're all practicing in their own ways. But many of them are still practicing heads and teachers uh, and leaders and so forth. And they're very human mm. and they were willing. In fact, they were thrilled to have the opportunity to come and make courses with us where you're not staring at the screen saying, this is how you do it. <laughs> well, you, you know, I, I think that's so important. And you, we have to call them courses because we have to have words that accurately describe things. Yeah, and it's very are. difficult to come up with another word. Apart I, know, from the course. I know, I know, I know. However, the, the thing that struck me early on was that these weren't you start here, this is the problem, and by the end of this course, you know what to do. It's not like that at all. It's yeah. very reflective, isn't it? And it's very open-ended. Yeah, it is. It's based on your levels of investment in yourself, really. Yeah. What I mean by that is how much, how much you, you can bring to this course through your reflections, to, through your thoughts. So each course is built around some... Shall I briefly? Yeah, I, I think so. each course is, and we'll, we'll maybe share some of this at the end, but yeah, like, we'll, we'll show yeah. some of this. But each course is built around some really, really compelling, really engaging films. Mm -hmm. And those films are not masterclasses where you've got a bod saying, Welcome to Unit One <laughs> with me, <laughs> yes. Andrew yeah. Hammond. Yeah, at the end of this, you will sitting, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be as good as me. Yeah, yes. By the end yes. Of this. Yeah. No, they're discussions. Mm -hmm. They're discussions. And it's almost like you feel like you're there yeah. as a viewer. Yeah. So they're discussions where we, I've always said to all the authors that we've now worked with, I've worked with many of the League of Extraordinary Teachers, and I've said to them all, the first film in the, in the course really is essentially getting all the stuff out of the drawers, good and bad, mm. frankly, anecdotal stuff, mm. where we've been through some tough experiences. Yeah. We, we, we hold it all up and think about all these different anecdotes. And then gradually throughout the course, with the help of the viewer, because they're, they're obviously the, they're, they're writing all their own question, uh, answers to the questions for reflection. You can't get them right or wrong, but they're reflective questions. And together, we come up with um, ways of neatly repackaging those things and putting them back in the drawers again. Do you, know, do you understand what yeah, I mean? So we're sorting things out. But everybody will interpret this and view this and hear this differently. Yeah. And that's right. And exactly. That's right. Yes. So it's a collaborative thing. So important. Thing. Isn't it? Sense. Yeah. And then there's thought pieces in every unit, and there are questions for reflection in every unit. Yeah. So it's um, you know a lot of reading material. I mean, a lot of if this were a series of books, they'd be huge. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But it's the film. It's discovery. It's those. Films, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. The the uh, the production of them has, yeah. has been quite a thing. And of course, uh, yeah. COVID. The pandemic's had its impact there as well. We had a six month filming program condensed into six weeks, six weeks. which was very, very interesting. Six weeks. Very intense, we but I have it. to say, in quite, a quite, quite something. Yeah, we yeah. formed a bubble and we got on with we it. We did, yeah. And throughout the course of this, there were some very interesting encounters, weren't there? And some unexpected encounters, I would say. I'd class them as and things that stopped us in our tracks. Yeah, I mean, they thought, you know that phrase, thought leadership? Thought leadership. Yeah, yeah. It's used it's a lot. Overused, isn't it? isn't it? It is overused. It's a good actually. phrase. Though. It is a good phrase. Yeah. But sometimes you go on a thought leadership course or something, or hear a thought leader speaking, yes. and you think, "Well, yeah. I'm not sure that you're leading thought there." Do you know what I mean? Yes. I'm sorry, that sounds a bit rude. I mean, there are some thought leaders that I've heard and have been really properly inspired Absolutely. by. Absolutely. Yeah. But there are others that are peddling similar sort of things that we've always yes. peddled for a while. Yeah. So, in, to what to what extent are you leading the thought there? Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So where I think I've been so thrilled is, and it's happened really every time, is where um, the course leaders have said things that have just made me stop. Mm. I think, oh, hang on a minute. 
Do you know what I mean? Those yeah. sort of times when they've sort of paused and posed a question or mm. posed a thought in my mind, which I wasn't thinking before. And they're captured on film. And they're captured on film. Yeah. And, 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 and I have the good fortune of being in them. Mm. That's not because this was ever designed <laughs> as a vanity project for Hammond. No, 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 no. To get himself on the telly box. No. I think people know that. I hope people know yeah. that. But, but somebody needed to, to interview these people and just react on behalf of, I hope, teachers. Yeah. 21 years I've had in teaching mm -hmm. and leading in those last few years leading. Um, and I feel I would hopefully be able to pose questions that people would be interested to hear the answers to and then to react in the way that they would react, if that makes sense. So therefore, if uh, Pram, Pram Patel, delivered the most amazing course on diversity, yeah, yeah. equality, and inclusion. Really compelling, and it really made us both, you were in that discussion, that one, yeah. it really made us think. And so that's a good example where I, I remember saying vividly, I, I, I've been quite quiet in this discussion, Pram. I don't know what to say. Mm. I don't want to get it wrong. Mm. And I'm, I'm frustrated by what is now perceived to be, I'm now beginning to realize it's quite a lack in my knowledge and in my education, and I feel quite feel quite angry about that, mm. you know. Have I been subjected to the same unconscious bias that you're talking about? Mm. Have I? And it was my was my education at best incomplete, yes. at worst, censored. I'd like to know. And so I say that. Yeah. Do you know and, and you said that, and you I know. Said it too, yeah. You said that. And um and so we really uh, we we really have been uh, inspired and uh, maybe even made to feel uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah, and I think that's a very good thing because yeah. it was it was our discomfort in that discussion, which yeah, yeah. I hope other people will experience our discomfort and then feel some discomfort of their own as well. And that's okay. And that's what this is about. It's, okay. it's, it's about opening these things and having a dialogue. And I have to say, without sounding over dramatic, that I I left that discussion changed. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, I did. And I, I think that that was yeah, it was did. quite a powerful. Well, you moment. went off and in research roomy, didn't you? I did. Yeah. yeah. Great, great, great poet. poet. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. So, yes, yeah, so there have been those sort of seminal moments where I thought, wow. And not only me, I mean, throughout that, but me, but the production company as well that yes, we're working yes, with. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant EY3 Media who are working with us within yes. Discovery Education to make these. They're not cameras for hire, are they? No. <laughs> yeah, they're really not. I mean, they, are, they have been absolutely hooked into this, haven't they? Yeah. And they said, this is really fascinating what you're saying here. You know, this is it's really, because we've all been to school. We've yeah. all been to school. Yeah. So they've been they've been wrapped in this as well. So and together I think we've we've come up with a, a nice blend of of thought leadership, of roundtable discussions, of actual questions that kind of nudge you out of your comfort zone. But the 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 in totality, I think the purpose of this whole program is to help you to feel more empowered and have that sense of agency that you need as a teacher. Yeah. Recognizing that you, you you're driven by by your motivations, I point to my gut, which is where you tend to feel it, the fire in the belly. You're certainly driven by your heart. It's a calling, isn't it? It's a, it's, it's a caring profession after all. And of course, you're driven by your professional knowledge and, and your, your ability to think critically and all those yes. things. But you need all of those things together. Yeah. And when those things are working in symphony, um, you're gonna stay in the job. You are. And you're gonna enjoy it. And, and I, I think just going back to some of the, the courses that, yeah. that, that are there on yeah. Pathway, um, without being rude to other authors and everything, that I, to me, there is, there is a real, real jewel in the center of all of this, and that's Professor Tim O'Brien, Dr. Dennis Guyney's contribution in the wellbeing course, it's amazing. which I think is it's absolutely amazing. outstanding. It's amazing. And so we should say, shouldn't we, that in addition to all the different online courses, many, many, many different courses, Pathway is not one course, many, many courses and so forth. You can keep coming back to and revisiting, like a, like a journal. Yeah, there's you, a journal, you can dip in and out yeah, all yeah, the time. Yeah, there's a diary. You keep, but um, I always say, written through Pathway like a stick of rock is Tim's wellbeing program, Tim and Dennis. Yes. Professor Tim O'Brien and Dr. Dennis Guiney have had many years working in, in education yeah. and in the field of uh, uh, psychology and human development yeah. and so forth. And, uh, and well, world renowned. World renowned, yeah. yeah I, could, I could list a number of committees Tim sits on, but I'm not going to. No, no, trouble. no, indeed. We get um, trouble. It's extraordinary the people he advises and so forth. Thank goodness. Frankly, it's quite reassuring <laughs> um, because it, there's such a reassuring team. And um, yeah, so I had the great privilege of working with them uh, and again, sitting, posing questions, really, and really just quite happily admitting, I don't know what well-being is. What is it? What is it? 
and how do I support it? How do I, you know? Do you know well, we all I, think we know what it is, yeah, don't we? But, it means really, different things to different another people. Phrase. But he really, they oh, really, I, I think, again, altered perceptions through the course of these films and the course that they've written, they've written to us. I think well, you, you, you can't, um, there's, a, there's that lovely analogy, isn't it? I mean, God forbid it would ever happen, but in the case of a plane crash, mm. something going wrong, you are always, always advised to put on your own mask. Yes. Put on your own mask first before you can ever think about trying to support others because you're no use to others unless you can put on your own mask. And that is exactly the sort of thing that we're, we're talking about here. You really need to address your own, you do. your own mental health and your, your, your health, your joie de vie. Don't lose it. You've got to keep yeah. that. And one of the, one of the, another author actually, um, in addition to Tim and Dennis, who, who talks about resilience is David yeah, Gumbrell. David Gumbrell, I was going to bring up that. He's a legend. Yeah. He's absolutely yeah. a legend. And through the very most simple metaphors and things, yeah. he really strikes home. Yeah. And, and he says, look, right now, across the UK, head teachers, just like I was, head teachers are standing there providing, uh, I always talk about those two things, don't I? Certainty and control. Yeah. Schools need that, like financial institutions need those two things. Yeah. And the, the contents of a school is worth a lot more than the contents of a bank, isn't it? Yeah. So you need continu you need without continuity. Without shadow of a doubt. Yeah, you, you really need certainty and control. And those head teachers are there pro projecting certainty and control. The people behind them, right the way up to Whitehall, mm -hmm. we're not going to make this political. No. How much certainty and control is coming out? Well, I don't know how much control. <laughs> I can answer certainty. that question. Yeah, exactly. Zero. How much certainty is coming out? <laughs> I'm going to say. So they are there to fill up people's cup, to project certainty and control and reassurance. You can't fill up people's cup if your own cup is empty. So who's filling up your cup? That's right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I think that's really important, that is. And people at the NAHT that I've just had the great thrill of working with, they would say that. In fact, I'm sure they, they would probably want to send it to me, yeah. you know. So we're kind of, we're together in this, that we're there to, <laughs> we're there to, there to fill your cup. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? It's coming out of wrong, but no, no, no. It I, is. Mean? I, I think we all get the analogy, and I yeah, think the analogy yeah. works. It does work. work. We're, we're yeah. very, very cautious around chocolate box philosophy and psychology. Aren't I, we? Know, I know. That's yeah. what Pathway is about: is the depth that you know. You can say something like that, but underneath it, on under, underpinning that, is a whole range of materials that backs it up and gives you really something well, to get into. We did one sort of little promo thing recently where I wax lyrical about you matter. Yes. I don't mean you. Well, you well clearly I don't. <laughs> but, thanks, but, you know, I looked at the camera and said, yeah. you matter. <laughs> and uh, I thought, God, that's so cheesy, isn't it? But, but it's true. And what I mean by that is it's not, and I see in the, I say in the film, don't I, that it's not a self-indulgent thing to say mm. that you matter. Because I, I, having had 21 years teaching, it's all about the children. It was only ever about the children. Children first, mm. pupils first. But if you keep on and on saying that, you'll keel over. And how do the children benefit from that then? Yeah. And more to the point, how does your family benefit yeah. when you don't put yourself first? Yeah. And I really mean that, put yourself first. Mm. Put your mask on first. Look after yourself first. And again, I, I, looking at the figures that I started with, it doesn't suggest to me that everybody's doing that yet. Mm. And it's a great loss when teachers decide to leave, particularly those like the, mm. that, that young teacher that I spoke to in, in, as recently as last year. He said, I'm just not feeling it anymore. I don't feel very well, you know. Mm. And, uh, and that's a great shame, you know. And goodness knows how they must be feeling now with COVID idiots coming into school and can you using, imagine? you know, the, can you imagine? using science, reality and everything else and putting people in, in, can, I, in I, the I, most dreadful Position, can you imagine? Most dreadful position. So parents so. coming in and, and saying, well, this COVID thing. Yeah, it's not you know, real. No, yeah. my, my, my child doesn't need to wear a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why have you put black and yellow tape over it? I mean, what, you know, head teachers spend their summer, they're not on holiday, they're never on holiday, no. on their knees, put literally yes. putting yellow and black and tape, tape everywhere and to create one-way systems yeah. and so forth. And, and cleaning regimes and, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It's, 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 very, it's, it's much needed in the first place, but ever more it's needed. certainly yeah. even more needed now but it wasn't written within no it wasn't with lockdown yeah, in mind quite, or quite with anything it was years ago you know but so yeah. i'm really pleased to have had that chance you know um that's half an hour hey, that's what? half an hour that gone. was only the first question i think that was only the first question <laughs> yeah so um apologies uh, <laughs> yes so yeah we, so we, i think I, should we start I, now? I think we should uh, let yeah. people have a look at uh, what's been constructed. right shall we shall we share some of the slides yeah, yeah. So yeah. That's, it's that's, exciting to see it is. we've uh, working with the most amazing development team uh, within Discover Education to build um, 
the terrific, terrific platform. Thank you. So empowering teachers and leaders to flourish in their careers. And I hope in the last 30 minutes, people have understood um, why we're doing that and why I think this matters so much. Um, and I mentioned, didn't I? Oh, this is becoming a demo. I didn't want to end with a demo, but essentially just to sum up, we've <laughs> talked about teacher empowerment agency, haven't we? Um, blending personal and professional development together. Um, oh, these were the, uh, the core aim and the key objectives that I wrote are right at the top of this project. And those three words um, jumped out at me, they really did. Because essentially what you're doing is you're, you're giving teachers the opportunity to orientate themselves in their career. God knows your head can be in a spin, your compass is in a spin. Mm. You need to just pause, set it down and think about the direction you want to take mm. and use the CPD, CPE courses, all these online courses to navigate your way there to where you want to be. Yeah. Not just in terms of your professional roles, but your motivations, what drives you, your health and well-being goals. Don't ignore those. Mm. You're a person, you know, you're not a, you're not a, just a, a receptacle to carry your head from yes. one meeting to the next. You're, yeah, yeah. you're a person. You know? yeah. So that was the point of that. Um, and that's, uh, those are the three, the three corners, but, but let me get to, um, yes. And these are the, these are the main elements of, of pathway, um, orientation, navigation, and reflection. And we have, uh, oh, we have a whole host of different, elements within that and there's there's plenty of opportunity for those on the call this, this is those. the craft of putting something that's about people into a process isn't it this is what it looks some like. structure yeah and it's hard to do it without having this so you can well, it's, it's almost like through. if you x-ray the yeah. person <laughs> that's right this if you x-ray the, the teacher yeah these are the bits you'd see yeah you wouldn't just see online cpd no you really wouldn't you'd see all the other bits and pieces yeah. which has been so exciting um yeah these are these are some of the elements that are made up uh, that make up the orientation and the motivation plan and the guide to motivation has been absolutely terrific to make with the amazing motivation expert called Mark Turner, Mark again, Turner. teacher, yes. teacher yeah. for a very long time, yeah. um, director of studies, and he was uh, yeah. uh, head of CPD as well in, in yeah. his school. So he knows all about motivating teachers and so forth. And then the skills audit where you can actually do a self assessment of yeah. where, where, where your own skills and competencies lie. Nobody needs to see that. That's for you. That's for mm. you to keep coming back to um, as you progress and so on and map out your, 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 your professional roles. Uh, that was the navigation piece. Um, there's online courses, which I think are terrific. Um, and obviously we're looking towards accreditation once all the, well, the content is now completely finished and now is finished. We're gonna continue the conversations that I've already started with a number of universities to see if we can uh, well, I, I get like that, that content because accredited. This investment that people are giving, which is in yourself. Yeah, that's right. It can have a, an extrinsic uh, it, it, should well to, it, it should be able to, it should be, yeah. double bubble it. Yeah, it's you know, fantastic. Not yeah. credits really towards a master's yeah. program. So, uh, and the universities I've spoken to already, well before lockdown actually, were, were, were very excited to, yeah. and now I can continue that discussion, yeah. which is great. Um, and all of these different um, uh, courses and things, there will be the opportunity to, mm. to share your comments and so forth. Yeah. And of course, also in the short term, we're also having these webinars and so forth, which I think is a good way of developing that sense of community yes. questions and so forth. Um, and then the, the reflection piece as well, which I've, I've alluded to, and I've, I've described this on many webinars so far um, with the great Tim O'Brien and Dennis Guiney. Um, but again, I mean, all of this is available and people can check this out. And also yeah. just going back advice hub. Yeah. Well, yeah, guy was the, um, the well, last, yeah, advice yeah, hub. Advi yeah, oh, yeah. Goodness. Yeah. So, the so guy Dudley the, the is the, the <laughs> voice at the end of the bat phone. The most Isn't reassuring really is? bat phone well, answerer. He really is the most, I think that's his new title. I think it should he, be. He is the chief <laughs> bat phone answerer. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and he, had, he, as you said the other day when we were doing a podcast, you said that he, um, Carpet Time podcast. <laughs> I need to put that in, don't I? Really, you do. Carpet Time yeah. on Spotify. Yeah. Um, but on the podcast, you were saying that um, that guy uh, not only knows what to say, he knows how to how say to it. Say it. Yeah. You know, yeah. although your analogy of guy, the yeah. school's burning down and the children are escaping, yeah. is an interesting one. <laughs> well, you know, I've been uh, there. when I yeah. played it, yeah. yeah. But guy knows what to say. He just and he has a team there of experts as well, and so they're they're pumping lots and lots of fantastic content into the advice hub. So, so he hasn't Pathway. had um, amazing. Said he hasn't has a pleasant conversation with a head teacher during work hours in seven years. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. No, a lot of the heads don't tend to ring up guy no, to say so it's all going so well. Morning. How are you? Oh, it's Lovely great. Day, isn't it? Going yeah. really well, guy. Yeah. No, no. He's there for the Sorry, other reasons. I'm, I'm taking you away. Is there? No, but you're right. But that's a really important part of yeah. the reflection piece because it's yeah. about you yeah. and it's about the stone in your shoe and the thorn in your side. Get it out. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And guy's there for that. 
and, and this is the League of Extraordinary Teachers. I mean, uh, yeah. well, apart from me, maybe, but there's a League of Extraordinary <laughs> Teachers on there, no and many, many more coming. Well, you're on that one. Uh, <laughs> teaching and learning <laughs> experts one. as well. I mean, they're just brilliant people to work with, with centuries of teaching experience between them. Yeah. And they've been making some amazing films. Really fun, you know, really enjoyable to watch. Um, and all the reading materials that go yeah. with it. And then the courses, of course, yeah. are made up of different chapters uh, with lots of films within each chapter and thought pieces and all that stuff. Um, yeah, really exciting. And this is the bit I wanted to show, which was actually some of the shots of the actual platform now, which I think are terrific, actually. So this is what the actual platform looks like. And it's um, uh, in full partnership with the NHT, which is terrific. So they've brought so much, so much to the programme. Um, and uh, and that's those are the three main sections as you can see and it's got a nice vibe to it. It's got a nice, nice and clean. It's, and you open. said it's got a lounge feel. Yeah, it does. It feels like you're in a lounge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is how it should feel if you're going to have to do <laughs> sure. this after work. Yeah, <laughs> you know, um, a glass of wine. Yeah, but maybe always. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the orientation piece. Um, that's a navigation piece, and much, much more besides. But uh, in the interests of brevity, I'll just sort of switch sure. through them quickly this is one of the courses you can see how you can navigate your way on the top left very nicely and very easily get straight back to the unit you were working yep. through before yep. um, and get through to those questions for reflection read all the thought pieces and then answer at your own leisure really when you're ready and you can come back and change your response but you see those questions there you can't get that wrong no. I mean, how has your character changed? Has, has it changed significantly since you were yourself, yeah. you yourself were at school? I did this particular course, actually, and my character hasn't changed since I was eight. <laughs> but it hasn't. I've added a four in front of that. But my character was cemented, I think, in those early days of childhood. So yes. what do we think? So it's those sorts of questions, yeah. really. Um, and the skills audit and the all-important career map, which is... Uh, and, of course, this brilliant, brilliant program from... Prof yeah, Tim, Prof Tim, yeah. from Prof Tim, who is uh, the friendliest man and so knowledgeable about well-being, yeah, and Dr. Dennis Garney, Incredible. brilliant as well. Great guys. Um, and then, uh, of course, that brilliant advice hub from Guy Dudley, yeah. which is constantly being updated and yeah. added to with more PDF articles yes. to read on yeah. any major thing that yeah. can go wrong. It's an incredible knowledge base as well. It is, it? yeah, really yeah. Nice. You can search through the archives there. There's amazing. Yeah. Uh, uh, different categories mm -hmm. of leadership and teaching. What I mean by that, different categories of things that come up in the job, yeah. whether it's to do with safeguarding or leadership and governance or assessment or whatever. There's lots of different pieces on there. Um, that, that actually is just taken from the top of the advice hub. Um, and then, of course, finally, uh, a dashboard where you can actually start to see your levels of investment in yourself. How are you getting through the courses? How are they going? Shortcut to the to the back phone. Yep. We should have called it the back phone, shouldn't we? <laughs> Shortcut to, to the back phone, to Guy. Might be an age thing. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> yes, maybe it is, actually, you're right. Yeah. But I think hopefully people will see that it's, um, it's, a, fun, it's a fun place to be. It's a, it's a fun experience to have. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. No. Um, it isn't. Uh, we we take the business of education tremendously seriously, don't we? But without taking ourselves too seriously, Absolutely right. it's nice to have those light-hearted moments as well. Yeah. So I'm really That's delighted to have shared that. Um, yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. An interview which I've completely monopolised. Well, that, that's, I think you'll find that's the idea of things like this. So, I mean, so there we are. Hashtag the whole teacher. So what, what's, the whole teacher. what's next? Are we going the whole school, do you think? <clears throat> well, it was um, National Teaching Assistant Day it was yesterday. Yesterday. I was about to say it. Were you? I, yeah. I didn't know whether my boss would allow me to say that, but we said it now. So There you go. I've uh, said it for you. <laughs> not that it'd be unhappy that I said that it's National Teaching Assistant Day, but I think we should. I've always said... I've always said that we really, really want to be supporting teaching assistants in the same way because they Absolutely. provide a vital service, yeah. as everybody knows. They really yeah. do. Yeah. The whole so uh, the whole school, but um, let's see how we go. We, we very much hope so, okay. but the same sort of approach for the whole school. Well, thank you for illuminating us on the pathway to pathway. Um, nice, yeah, nicely done. Right, right, nice, nicely yeah, done. Yeah. yeah, I'm ready for a cup of tea. Yeah, me, me, <laughs> me too. So, and thank you everyone for, for um, coming yes, thank and, you. and taking up precious time this morning uh, to listen into this. And uh, I do believe, actually, we, we've got more coming up next week. Or is it? Oh, 1st of October, we've got Howell Roberts. Um, he's terrific. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's one of the authors, yeah, he's uh, one of the first authors we contacted. Uh, very, very well known out there. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a great conversation with Howell, I'm sure. Yeah, we're going to talk about his the, course on the 1st of October. What motivates him. Yep. So thank you once again. And don't forget, if you want more information on NHT Discovery Education Pathway Program, you can go to discoveryeducation.co.uk forward slash pathway, uh, where you can find out more information and even pre-order. 
So um, thank you once again uh, for attending and we'll look forward to seeing you with Howell on the 1st of October. Thank you. Thank you.